So I thought we, today we'd take a quick look at just a resistor capacitor substitution box. Just a very simple piece of kit. Uh, occasionally it's very handy to have. Uh, it's certainly not, nothing I have to have on the bench, but it can be somewhat useful. Uh, as the name implies, it's a resistor capacitor substitution box. Looking down at the resistor scale, you can see there's a low ohm scale, the black scale. That black scale goes from 15 ohms around to 10k. And there's a high resistance scale that runs from 15k around to 10 meg. There's a range switch up here for the resistance, which sets low or high range. We have a single capacitance scale that runs from 68 or 6800 picofarads on around to, if I can point here, 0.22 microfarad. Both the resistance and capacitance use just rotary switches. I believe those are wafer switches when we get inside of the unit. And of course there's a switch up here that sets an independent resistor or capacitance. It's the center point you can use those. You can switch the resistors and capacitors into series. Or you can set the resistance capacitance into parallel. So it's fairly versatile. Uh, I don't remember where I got this. I know it's been on my bench for many, many, many years. Let's go ahead and open it up take a look inside. So the screws have been removed. They're just nice little machine screws. The detail I thought I'd show you on the box is it actually uses brass inserts in the four corners. They're not self-tapping screws. Uh, cases with brass inserts tend to be more expensive, so this says to me this may have been a, a little higher quality unit than a completely just El Cheapo RC box. We've of course got the unit out. And as one would expect on the inside, rotary wafer switches with capacitors on the capacitor side and resistors on the resistor side. Looking down into the resistor side, you may be able to see that there's two, an outer ring of resistors and an inner ring of resistors. That's of course how we get the low and high resistance ranges. The range of capacitors from the little 68K down there, full range all the way around to that big orange 0.22K. A small amount of wiring to pick the resistance high and low range. And of course for connecting the capacitor resistors in series, parallel, or making them independent. It's a pretty simple device. Uh, I know people have talked about building your own it could be a fun little project. Uh, I personally have never found this box useful enough to really want to build my own. Uh, I certainly wouldn't discourage you from doing so. But there it is. There's a quick look inside of a resistor capacitor substitution box. Um, some very nice wafer switches in there. A couple of slide switches, and of course the BMC jacks for hooking up to uh, whatever circuit that you need it hooked into.